good to start with some medical history. Okay. So until about the late 1960s, early 1970s, doctors called it all von Recklinghausen disease and lumped it together and viewed it as a medical curiosity but didn't realise the extent of the problem. From the 1970s onwards, people began to specialise and focus their research on neurofibromatosis. So it then became clear that actually it's a group of conditions. It turns out that um, the NF1 gene and the gene for NF2 are quite distinct. And in fact, I think if we started again, the conditions wouldn't be together. Mm -hmm. NF2 is less common, it's about 1 in 33,000, and um, it uh, is more severe consistently. But unfortunately, the people with NF1 have an increased risk of a lot of different medical problems. The commonest is um, learning and behaviour. So at least 50% of the children would report struggling at school with um, fine coordination, their writing is difficult, they may have difficulty concentrating.